What's going on everybody? It's Rock from Flip the Thrift. Welcome back into my channel. If you guys are not subscribed yet, don't be hesitant to subscribe to the channel, smash the thumbs up button, hit the notification bell to get notified when I post another video. Today we're going to do some thrifting, so let's go. Alright, so today I woke up and I was like, you know what, I need some thrifting in my life. So that's what we're going to do today, we're going to go thrifting and I'm caught up on all my stuff. Alright guys, so we're at the Goodwill, sorry about the lighting, every time I pull in here the sun is always on the same side, it's like always right in my face. So, there's the Goodwill over there, we're going to go in and find some stuff, so let's go. Alright guys, nothing so far, but this is called a men's butler, it's like where you put your, your suit, your tie and your cufflinks and everything on it. They want 15 bucks for that. Some of these sell for a lot. I'm going to check out the brand and see who it's made by. All right, so here's a good brand. Duluth Trading, a lot of times, um, a lot of their hunting outdoor stuff does really well. This is going to be $4.99. I think I can probably get at least $25 for this. It's a little bit heavier. Looks like it's time to start stocking up the men's stuff, man. This is, like, really empty. I don't know what's going on here. Check this out, guys. This isn't new, but they want ten dollars for this. Yeah, if it maybe if it was a vintage one, I think this is a woman's too. Nope, not ten bucks. Here's a Grant Thomas. It's a two ply cashmere, but it's just it seems really stretched out to me. It just seems like it was they just wore the heck out of it and never had it dry cleaned. There's no holes or anything on it or stains. It just just the way that it's kind of worn out and it's a large and it's just really big for a large yeah it just looks like it was just really worn out i'm gonna pass this is cool it says show me the presents it's made in usa but it does have some stains on it so i'm gonna pass this is unusual it's champion and it says timberland on the other side so go figure that one out okay if you guys can obviously see that i'm a fan of champion check out this champion sweatshirt that a nice lady showed me earlier it is a reverse weave it's going to be seven seven something seven seven seventy five you know i gotta scoop this up and i'm gonna rock it tomorrow all right so definitely worth the wait these are versace sport um i'm a little skeptical if they're real or not um i don't really I'm going to have to do a little bit more research. Yeah, see, these are like just, they're just like kind of falling apart. And they might be old. They might be actual like bootleg, um, vintage bootleg. But they just don't feel like Versace. I'm, I'm probably going to leave those. But this is really cool. Um, this is Antigua Sport. It's made in USA. It's $4.99. It has the Kelly Green Eagle on it. And it's brand new with tags only $4.99. This is a definite scoop. But as far as the Versace jeans, they are really dope. Um, maybe if they're my size, I might just keep them. All right, guys. So I did leave with a couple items. One for myself. Got the champion sweater, sweatshirt. But I had to leave the Versaces because they were fake. They wouldn't fit me, so I couldn't rock those Bugazis like crazy. So um, we're going to head over to the Salvation Army and see what they got. All right, so we're at the Salvation Army. Good news, there's nobody here. So that's that's a good, gives us a very good chance of finding good items, so let's go. All right, so right in the door, I see this Peter Millar. I think blue is half off. Um, this is gonna be like 10 bucks. So I don't know if this is gonna be worth it. I'm gonna look it up and see what these are actually selling for. It does have a logo on it, so it does have a golf logo. I'm gonna look this up and see Maybe if it's down or something, I don't think it is. I remember what I was saying about the cost, guys. This is only $6. Uh, it's made in China, so I'm not really too sure about this one. It is pretty cool. It actually has a big spell out on the back of it, but I don't know. All right, guys, that's not the one. Where is it at? It's right here. 
Um, they do seem to be selling a little bit. I don't know if it's a brand. I see like Overwatch, like a video game. So I'm not really too sure what that is. But I do know that this is, sorry about the kid crying in the background. This is Audi and it's a Peter Millar Crown Sport. Um, I'm going to make sure it doesn't have any stains on. I'm going to grab the. All right, so this is a 1980 Levi's Olympic Games USA. Don't five for it, but it, the sales on this are just kind of up and down. One sold for 30, then they're selling for 15. So I don't know if I want a chance on this one. It's just not the right type of Olympic item. Okay, guys, so finally we got something good going on here. We got these Bose speakers. These are a Model 141. They want $7.99 for these. Um, there you go, $7.99. Hopefully they work. These always sell for about $50. This is interesting, guys. They want $50 for this. Um, there's one sold online. There's a couple. There's a bunch listed anywhere from $100 to like $300. It's just a BMX bike ramp, skateboard ramp. I mean, all it is is just a piece of concaved wood, but $50. Man, they're crazy. All right, guys. So we did pretty good in there. The Bose speakers should sell anywhere from like $45 to $50. So there's the Goodwill over there. Today I woke up and I was like, maybe I should go to the bins today. And then I thought about all the work that it entails to go to the bins. So I was like, mm, nah, let's just do some stores today. So I'm just like thrift hopping, thrift shopping hopping. Guys, so there's no way I'm not going to get this for my granddaughter. I think my daughter spilled the beans. I just got off the phone with my wife and she's with my daughter and my grandchildren. And, you know, she just loves trolls. So we watched that movie together. It was pretty cool. But anyway, found these Adidas. Anytime you guys see the full snap ones like this, these ones tend to do pretty well. These are the basketball um, pull away, snap away, break away, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to take a look. There's another pair, another pair of Adidas right there. So we'll see. If these were in better condition, these are vintage Florida Marlin. There's two of them, but they're just, they're totally trash. Somebody wore the crap out of them, but we're going to pass on those. And there's a nice little Sixers. This just looks like just your basic bootleg Sixers cap. No thanks. All right, guys, so we're over in the jacket department, and I'm like, I'm always looking over here. Nobody really goes through these. So we have this Jack Victor, but it's a Laura Piana. I'm going to see if I can find the pants to that. Then we have this. I looked over here. I seen another one. We got 100% cashmere. This one is Brooks Brothers Pure Cashmere. Um, this is a really nice color. I'm gonna make sure that there's no, um, there's no blemishes, there's no spots on it. A lot of times, that's what you'll see with cashmere. Like here, I see a little bit of, um, not too bad, but if it's really bad, I probably won't pick it up if there's any holes in it. So I'm gonna look this over really nice. It probably not worth a ton, but maybe like 75 bucks. Okay guys, jackpot. First time I've ever found suit supply and it's a Vitala Barbaris Canonico, which is, um, that's the fabric, really high-end fabric. It's also a surgeon cuff, which means that the cuffs are functioning for, like if you wanna roll your sleeve up or whatever, um, for a, just a different type of look. I'm definitely gonna look for the pants for this. I also found a Ted Baker jacket. Excuse me which is, it's just a really beautiful jacket. Um, it's got a really cool paisley um, lining on the inside. It's a stripe, so I'm gonna look for the pants on that also. So we're actually doing very well in this department, so I'm gonna finish the rest of the. Okay, so I see the Ted Bakers. They do pretty well. I just found another suit, another full suit, and I just found another suit supply. So I'm guessing that somebody um, with a lot of money donated these suits i'm gonna look for the jackets if i don't or for the pants if i don't find the pants i'm just gonna sell the jackets by themselves like a blazer okay remember guys summer is coming here's a columbia pfg i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go over and i'm gonna look at this the dress shirts because i'm guessing that there's probably going to be some high-end ones there okay guys so back from the yellow one we got one two three PFGs and they're all going to be five bucks so 15 for all three the first one will pay for all of them love it this is cool this is a guest country club but it's got a t it's got a thing on it and then I mean it is really cool but if it said guest real big across the top of it and it was vintage it's just not what I'm looking for 
Okay, guys, I looked all through here. The only thing I really seen was like a couple um, decent Brooks Brothers shirts, like really nice ones. Um, let's see if I can find one of the first ones that I've seen. Like this one, this is really nice. This is a Regent. There's another Madison down there. Then there's another. Fortunately, there's a couple of Duluth trading. There's two more here. I know what I can get for them, but they want $6.99 a piece for them, so I'm gonna pay. Okay, I made the mistake of picking these up in the beginning. These are backpackers. These are actually vintage shirts. Um, they're not made. These are made in Ukraine. These are not made in USA. Um, and they're like, I think they're not polyester, but what are they? They're acrylic. So they're just like terrible material. They're really nice though. They're not in bad shape and they're only five something a piece, but they don't sell for that much. Probably like $15. This really sucks. This is a lot 29. If this was one of the ones with the cartoons on it with the Looney Tunes, it would be worth a ton of money. But this is just one, just a plain sweatshirt. Okay, unfortunately, I couldn't find any of the pants to um, these suits. I'm probably just going to just buy the jackets. But I did find these, these Nike Golf um, shorts. These are brand new with tags. They're going to be seven bucks. Seven twenty-nine. We're going to scoop them. Okay, guys, somebody tell me the logic behind this. I was going to pick these up, and then I looked at the price and went, holy crap. All right, guys, so they just brought out another rack of women's stuff. This is Anthropology. I think that's a store in the mall. Um, they have, like, some pretty good stuff. These are just, like, a crop type of pants. I don't know. They're a large. They're a good size. I'm going to give it a shot. I'm not too sure about Anthropology. All right, guys, so these are Lakai Costin. They're the cost one. I think it's like Kyle Costin or something like that. These are skate shoes. I think they're vintage. There's one pair listed for like 100 bucks. These are $7.50. Um, I think that these are rare from 2006. I'm going to go ahead and pick these up. I'm going to probably have to clean them up at least a little bit, but other than that, not too bad for $7. Okay, there's a pair of Adidas Recovery right there. I'm going to pass on them. Anytime I see Keens, I always pick them up. These are going to be $7.50. Um, yeah, these are $7.47. Um, they got a really good colorway. I did the bends on them. They seem like they're okay. I'll probably bend the crap out of them before I buy them. All right, I'm going to look and see if there's any more of these. Um, one sold for $30. These are vintage. They're from $2,000. They're Barbie Party Favors. Um, Barbie is like really highly collected, um, so if you can find stuff like this, people are generally looking to add it to their collection. Alright guys, you have got to be kidding me. Alright, I just bought a bunch of these, but I paid like not a lot for them. Um, I forget who these are made by, but I have a ton of them. Well, not a ton, but I still have some of them left. I forget what that's called when it has that design on it. Um, you guys see that? that design I forget what that's called but look at all of these tea miniature teapots and they're priced like ridiculously high if they were all two dollars I swear I would buy all of them it's just an opportunity definitely missed because they sell really fast these are really really collectible but oh well all right guys so maybe I went a little bit overboard in there had to buy two bags because I never remember to bring my bags in that Goodwill and it's probably I probably never will but anyway and now I'm gonna go get something to eat don't run me over buddy all right let's go eat I'm going to Carnes baby all right guys so there's a pair of Jordan shorts right here they're six dollars I don't know if I'm gonna pick them up or not they're pretty cool they're like a color block I don't know if they're vintage or not but then I found this Vais Saint Laurent neckwear tie i don't know i think the saint laurent whatever is the the one you want to pick up because it's newer so i'm gonna pick it up anyway and try to sell it so we'll see all right guys so we have a columbia another pfg it's funny too we're gonna pay eight on this but that's okay because it's brand new with tags and here we have a chamois cloth we're gonna pay six for that i usually get around thirty dollars for these sometimes more depending on the color so we're gonna keep going down this way. I swear everything that comes out of BKE Buckle in the mall, it's all pearl snaps. But anyway, we found a, another, another Columbia PFG. We're gonna scoop it. Okay guys, so here is the hidden gem. Look at that, um, that's called a trefoil, the Adidas symbol. Made in USA, check that out. That's probably from the 70s, 
70s or 80s if, I, if I'm guessing it's probably 80s okay guys so it's kind of a bad spot right here but I just wanted to say thanks for watching I think we did really really well today um, with the suit supplies I should definitely do well I'm just very I'm just glad that I finally found that brand it's just a very high-end brand if you guys ever find suit supply I think it's one word like suit supply like straight in a row but um, it's just a really high-end brand. It sells for a lot of money. Um, I should get close to $100 for each jacket. Um, being the condition that they're in, they are kind of a small size, which is kind of a downer, but um, they'll still do very well. I'm, I'm, I'm almost positive. I'm very confident that they will do well because it's just that it's just one of those brands like Brioni or, you know, like Kitan or something that is just going to sell very well. If you guys don't know those brands, you should be studying them um, if you do clothing, like if you do men's clothing in general. But anyway, we found a lot of Columbia PFGs, um, which is a really good thing because it's it's closing in on summertime. It's, it's about to be spring really soon. Um, we are like, what, already almost in the middle of March, like the, the beginning of March, whatever. But um, we're getting closer towards those warm weather and fishing and things like that and those type of activities. So um, I think that sneakers are going to start selling right now. Um, people are going to be running more. The weather is going to be nicer. Um, so I don't know if people have treadmills and they run inside. But anyway, I'm ranting on and on. I, I think, um, in my opinion, that I did very well. I spent way more than I wanted to spend, but I always do. And um, so do you and you and you and you and you. So anyway, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Smash that thumbs up button. Hit that notification bell to get notified when I post another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment down below. Peace.